Hello everyone, I had 0386SX, and currently you are staring at a fresh copy of Windows 95 on my Compact Armada 4160T. What are we going to do with that? Well, before I go into it too far, there are, if you're watching these videos in chronological order, or you're wondering why there hasn't been really any significant activity lately, I am waiting for hardware. I have three videos on pause because I'm waiting for hardware. I had one eBayer hang on to a set of batteries for four days. And finally shipped today. So I'm waiting on that, so that'll be a good video once that's all said and done. It does involve, and I can't tell by the box, but that one will involve a spot welder. We're going to try to make some battery packs that simply cannot be made by means of soldering. And just for curiosity, let's see if we are anywhere near having a video on that. But while I look that up, you don't have to hear me blah blah blah, I guess. Uh, yeah, I got another two days before that one comes, so... This video today, it's going to be a little bit of a different from what we normally do here. We are going to go into forgotten but cool software. Or at least I think it's cool, and especially with the pandemic going on for well over a year now, this is something small, but it's something that may make your day just a little less unbearable. Especially if you work on a computer. Now... 90% of you do not work on compact armadas that are 20 years old, but the software was originally designed for computers around this era, so we're going to start off with this, and this was conveniently out because I did use the spot welder on this machine as well, but you won't see that action until I get the rest of my hardware in for that video. But, alright, so let's go into C drive. What is the forgotten software? Well, we don't see anything out of the ordinary except this Nico 98. And I promise you it has nothing to do with anime. Or whatever that Japanese cartoon crap is. I, If you're into that, more power to you. But I am not. And you got all sorts of files here. So I kind of know where I'm going. We got blue tabbies, we got brown dogs, calicos. Let's go find the executable. So there's Nico 98. Nothing happened. Alright, it did. We have a little kitty in the corner now. So, alright. Let's see if there's any other executables or if there's settings we can go to, because I ain't seen anything else beyond that. It does. And we got image files that we can use, and, oh, let's try this always on top. <laughs> That's no good. Let's get the default kitty back on here. It's even brown dogs on here. Let's see what that does. And that, uh, well, let's close this out. Let's close out all these folders and let's see what we got. Nothing. Oh, the program actually closed out. That's why we got nothing. All right, so let's go back into the C drive and let's see if we can open up Nico again. There we go. Perfect. And we got our doggy running. The original program called had kitties in it. Now we have the dog, so we'll give that a go here. And that would be really awesome just because I have one. I don't see it in here. It's too bad they don't have a corgi dog here, but I'm sure if we get if we really get down and dirty we probably could find one for this. Let's see. Okay, so Okay, the program is a little bit clunky. 
anytime you go make a change while the program is open, it just closes out. So we're going to make our changes and we are going to go to sound next. And we'll go idle one. Just because we have the dog one open, we will do the dog ones first. Uh, let's see, they don't have a dog sleep, so we will. And this was originally written to have kitties, so that's why the dog stuff is a little bit of an afterthought, which actually surprises me because people do have a love for dogs more than the cats, it seems like, but both are equally fun, both are equally rewarding. Now this one has quite a few. You can chase the mouse, or you can run away from the mouse, or run around randomly. We'll do random round. We'll do a random one, and we'll see what that does. Nothing. Oh, you lazy... <laughs> the sound didn't work. I do have sound. Okay, make sure the sound card doesn't... That is not quite... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, if there is a little bit of a lag here, we'll close out Kitty. Let's try this. And of course the program has to close, so the earlier versions you can just uh, make your changes and it'll change right away, but not in this case. Let's try Kitty. And since it's going to close us out anyway, I'm going to close out the program right now. I'm just going to... Uh... Alright, so... How do we get back to it? Okay, let's go back to... We did have a Calico years ago. Love that cat to death, so we will go... We will go with the Kitty. The Calico. Tabby. And... Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now we got. Now I gotta try that. I don't know if there's a file I gotta choose. Oh yes, there is. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we choose that. It's a little bit clunky, but so now we gotta change our sounds over to. Well, we could leave them as is, but it'd sound a little weird. Sleep is the same. Let's go to awake. Let's do it again. Okay, that's annoying to me, so I'm going to, uh, we're going to close out Kitty again. And it does leave the footprints behind. Seems like it's a side effect. We're going to turn that sound back to, uh, somewhere around there is fine. I'll turn the cat back on. All right, that kitty noise is annoying. So, that's pretty much what this program does. You 
Get a cat? All right. That cat has been all born in the last two minutes and like actual calico did in its entire six years on this planet. So if we refresh the screen, all the artifacts and the footprints go away. So now, the last question on our minds here, will this work on a modern operating system like Windows 10? We're about to find out. Fortunately, I don't have to transfer the file via floppy disks or go hunt for some wireless cards that work with this machine. I should be able just to grab them from a network PC and be off to the races. So, with the magic of video editing, I'm going to go whip out my Windows 10 machine and that will go from there. If that doesn't work, we'll go to 7. If that don't work, we'll go to XP. Alright, and our instant Windows 10 upgrade is complete. Well, no, you ain't gonna get Windows 10 on that computer I was using before. So, yeah. So let's go to Nico 98 and let's try it on a Windows 10 64-bit machine. And just to show you, this thing is no powerhouse by any means. Windows 10 Pro i3 2350M. 2.3 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM. I think that is the absolute max this machine will take. But that's not important for the grand scheme of this video. And it's been a long time since this computer's made any appearances, so it's good to have it back. So, without any further delay, let us load the configuration tool. So far, so good. And we will... I want to add a new Nico. Oh, yeah, there's profiles on there. Okay, that's interesting. So, alien. Does not have enough like... Okay, so they may not be doing great here. That's interesting. So it may not work all that well in Windows 10. Let's try running it as an administrator once. Oh, that didn't make a lick of difference. Interesting. Well, let's see if it'll... if it'll work with at least the default. And since the default is the white cat, we're gonna go with the... we're not gonna go with the dog sleep on a... There is an earlier version of this program that I do believe will work on Windows 10 uh, completely. You can choose different images with it, but there is a side effect that the kitty cannot be on top at all times. Let's put it right. Let's see. Nope, that just does not want to work. Okay. Let's see what we got. That doesn't look very good. That kind of looks like hot trash. Alright, goodbye footprints. That just does not... I gotta turn that sound off. Alright, sound go bye bye But the default kitty at least works, so... It kind of works? If you can somehow finagle this to, uh... Get the dog to be the default, then... Great! 
Yeah, it does not have enough icons in it. It must have at least 32. What an odd air. Okay, so... I didn't even see this has Pac-Man and Penguin in it. That's kind of cool. So let me go pull up the Nico 95. I have an earlier version somewhere on this hard drive. So let me try that and we'll see how far we get with that. So magic of video editing. I shall be back. All right, we are back. And uh, this is definitely designed more or less for Windows 95. Well, let's see if we change here. We'll see what it does. Okay, so apparently this is going to be a no-go on this machine. Ah, it's too bad. Just to be sure, I do have my daily driver machine here. We'll give that a go and see. And yes, that does ultimately give me the same error, so... So you can technically use this software on Windows 10, it is just going to be very limited. And as promised, I am going to go down to Windows 7 next, and we will go from there. So we're going to downgrade to Windows 7. Alright, the, the downgrade is complete. But this computer does have one significant asterisk next to it, if this does work. I'm going to show you right now what that is. Notice, this is a 32-bit operating system. This software may act differently with 64-bit operating systems in general. But this is the only Windows 7 machine I have at the moment, so we will work with what we get. I'll always do the always on top. Yeah, okay. Let's see, can we select something else? No. Okay. But the default cat does work, so Windows 7 seems to be okay on that front. Can we make our cat bigger? Can we crash the program in the process? I think that crashed the program. That definitely wrecked the program. But we did, we did with this computer, we did eliminate one piece of this for sure, is that that icon limitation. It doesn't matter if you have a Windows 7 64-bit operating system or a 64-bit or a 32. Yeah, I think I say that fast three times. The zooming options don't appear to work either. You're basically stuck at 100. So, not going to spend a lot of time on this one, so we will downgrade to the Windows XP next. Okie doke. After all that, we are now on Windows XP. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, battery fell. That's always good. Nothing in these videos are ever scripted, including things that randomly fall out. And yes, I think that battery's broken. All right, anywho, let's see if we can change the icon. And we will go with something that. Okay, that did work just fine. Okay, so we'll go aliens, and I'm not gonna mess with any of that. And we're not gonna enable footprints. I don't know how well that would work with aliens, but... Alright, cool. So, let's see what we get. And there it is. Fully working on Windows XP. But we'll try the kitty. Yeah, this is pretty cool. We'll try. We have a Coke bottle too. Good God. What a country. 
or green ghost. Oh my goodness, that is uh, something else. All right, or a skunk. That's kind of cool. All right, uh, we will do the footprints on Skunky here. An old stinky. We'll get the footprint. Yeah, everything works to its full capability and XP. One last thing we could try and do. It will take out the Windows 10 machine and see if we run this program in compatibility mode. See if that makes a difference at all. So let me get that squared up here. Battery's really dead in this elite book, so I gotta plug in and I'm gonna do that. Alright, we are back with our Windows 10 machine for one more round of fun, and I inadvertently went into Edge. So we're gonna set this program to run in compatibility mode. And since we know that Windows XP does work with this program at its full capacity, we'll try that first. Yeah, Service Pack 2 should be adequate for our needs here. I think I pressed apply. Nope. Now we did. Alright, so let's give this a go now. Let's see what it complains about, if anything. Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. So, we will bring the kitty back for one last ride here before we shut down. I believe there is a newer variation of this floating around on GitHub. I don't know, I haven't tried it, I don't know what it does, and maybe I'll make a video on it. But, if you want to make your day a little bit brighter or a little less awful, maybe perhaps take a quick second to go to archive.org and go find Nico95 or Nico98, or whatever version you may find. Especially if you have a Windows XP or earlier machine, you might get a lot of laughs out of it and make somebody's day. But... I do recommend, if you go with the kitty sounds, try to find something a little less repulsive. Nice to me it is, but if you want to have a white cat or other pets roaming around on your screen, here you go. I showed you a piece of forgotten software. So, that's about it for me. Somehow this turned into an almost a 25 minute video. I don't know how that's possible, but oh well. Maybe I'll shut up in the other ones. But until then, if you have any questions, comments, Concerns, constructive criticism, if you don't want to see this crap anymore, well, tell me in the comments. Honest feedback is king. Oh, thank you again for watching a ridiculous video on forgotten software.